So this is the way that you're probably going to see it, all right? A complex fraction is when you take maybe a half and then divide it by a fourth, right? Now, this is one way to show it, but another way to show that, because fraction lines are just division, it's the same as one, fourth, one half divided by one fourth, okay? In other words, it's asking how many fourths are in a half? Two. And that would be the answer to that part. It's the same way with these complex rational expressions. Um, I would recommend writing it out as division, like it shows here, and then changing the division into multiplication, which then you'll be able to cancel stuff out. All right, here's an example. So, how, again, however you do this is up to you. Some people, if you haven't seen this before, some people like to use these kind of rainbow stuff. That's not the way that I'm going to do it, though, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this as a division problem with the division sign. So I got 15 over 2x divided by 5 over 6x. But we don't divide. We usually multiply by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction, which would be 6x over 5. And this now is being multiplied by 15 over 2x. So I can make that one full fraction. I've got 15 times 6x. Some of you would cross simplify and that would work too. And then 2x times 5. So if I multiply these, I get uh, 90x over 10x. The x's will cancel out, so I just need to look at the 9, 90 and the 10. If I both divide both of these by 10, I get 9 over 1, which is the same as 9. That's a, that's a really good question. I can split this up as 90 over 10 times x over x. And x divided by x is 1.